An NYU professor says fewer men going to college will lead to a quote-unquote mating crisis with the U.S. producing too many broke and alone men. It's always the men's fault, isn't it? Yeah, it's funny. We're supposed to have equality by the feminist definition, and yet no one is telling women, oh, you need to woman up and marry that bum. No, no, women... When a woman is successful and makes $100,000 a year, she starts demanding men that make $200,000 a year. Meanwhile, the men that make $200,000 a year are like, no, nah, I want the 18-year-old supermodel who's broke. She's, she's a better fit for me. <laughs> so you got all these women. Like Some colleges are like 70 to 30% in favor of women. Women are getting uh, – no, they, they get most of the degrees – they're starting to out earn men. Not really, because, you know, when men go into the trades, they, they actually do plumbers make really good money. Electricians make really good money. But those are viewed as, quote unquote, dirty jobs. So the, these CEO women, like, yeah, I know the this guy that owns his own plumbing company makes twice as much money as I do. But he's an icky plumber. Ew. He touches pipes that have poop in them. That is like nasty. I don't want that in my house. But but you literally paid to play. That, that's different. So th they're going to spin this as a whammon's most affected. Just you watch. And they say broke and alone men. They say the same thing about the herbivore men, actually, in Japan. And, and some of these guys, to be fair, they really do need to go out and work because they're they're basically living off of the charity of their parents. But a big chunk of the herbivore men, though, they, they sustain themselves. They have an apartment. They have they work a part-time job to pay their bills. They make more, enough to pay for their hobbies. And they're happy that way. These men living minimalist lifestyles and being happy aren't the problem. But a woman walks by and says, you need to be working yourself into an early grave to please me. Sorry. You're the one that has the problem, not me. You find a way to fix it. So I can guarantee you this is going to be another women's most affected. Fewer men than women's are attending college, which is leading to a mating crisis, the New York University professor Scott Galloway told Communist News Network on Saturday. Men are shamed into marrying down. Men will voluntarily marry down, at least when it comes to finances, all the time. Women, though? How dare you even assume this? Women's made up 59.5% of college students at the end of the current year, minus one to current year school year, an all-time high. The Wall Street Journal reported earlier this month, citing U.S. Department of Indoctrination data. That's in comparison to 40.5% of men enrolled in college. Yup, we had a good laugh at that. We covered that here. Data from the National Center for Indoctrinational Statistics found that in uh, current year minus 51, men made up close to 59% of those enrolled in college compared to about 41% for women who were enrolled. Those were better times. Additionally, the journal reported that uh, in the next uh, few years, the education sorry, indoctrination gap will widen so that for every one man who earns a college degree, two women will earn one. Ha, <laughs> earn. But it's not about quantity, though. It's about quality. I'd be willing to bet money that most of those men are going to be getting STEM degrees that are actually going to lead to decent jobs. Most of those women are going to get grievance studies degrees and then complain that the, the oh, my wage gap. Galloway told Communist News Network that the problem is much bigger than just the current numbers because men drop out at greater rates than women's. What could possibly want to make men drop out of college? You think it might be them constantly being vilified and treated like uh, rapists, being told that uh, they're toxic and they're the source of all the world's problems? No, 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 that can't be it. I mean, they're men. They just man up and deal with it. That's what men do. College is becoming the domain of whammons and not men, he said. W what have people like me been warning about for the past few years? Do I really need to do the fuck you hours right dance again? The issue, he said, is being driven by the rising cost of college without much change in the quality of indoctrination. Elite universities, he said, are focusing on giving a luxury experience and not expanding enrollment. To be fair, 
the only point of an elite university is to network. That's where all the, the ruling elites send their kids. You make friends with them, and then whenever you need help, they'll be there to hook you up. That That's the sole purpose of elite universities. You don't go there to learn. You go there to network with rich, powerful, well-connected people. Additionally, he said college-age men have more options than their female peers. You can walk onto a construction site in Florida. You can turn on an app, a cop, fireman, trade job, which are at the age of 18. If you can make $100 to $200 a day, that feels like real cabbage, he said. Okay, you know, you're not wrong. Men have the option to go to some physical job. But look at it from the college perspective. Hmm, let me Let me think here. How much money can you reasonably expect to make with a gender studies degree? Less than this, that's for sure. But Galway warned that beyond the classroom, the gap is causing an existential threat to society and that we are creating a dangerous cohort. You do not want to walk down this path. You do not want to do this because then we're going to have to talk about some straight facts about women's empowerment. The numbers don't lie. Countries that empower women more have a plummeting birth rate. Unless you're willing to go back to the root of the problem and fix it, I suggest you stop talking about this because it's going to put you in a very uncomfortable position. Because as a man, I can tell you right now that if your answer is to shame men more into manning up, it's not going to work anymore. We have mating inequality in the country, he said, adding that women's with college degrees don't want to partner with men who don't hold a degree. Yup, I knew it. I called this at the beginning, didn't I? Women's most affected. Guess what? Not our problem. You're the one with the problem. You deal with it. Imagine what this same author would do. If a man was saying that he wasn't willing to marry down, I, I don't want a woman that doesn't make at least as much as I do. They would be reamed. Men aren't allowed to have standards. They, they just need to accept whatever is thrown at them. Women, on the other hand, are allowed to have whatever impossible standards they want, and uh, they, they get cheered on. Real funny how that works. But, but imagine the reaction from society if men did this. Now, I refuse to date any women outside of my own social class. They would be destroyed. The most dangerous person in the world is a broken, alone male, and we are producing too many of them, he said. Oh, are you getting mad that your tax slaves are learning the game and walking away? For the past few decades, men have been getting a worse and worse deal, not just in relationships, but participating in society as a whole. Men have been expected to sacrifice more for a lesser return. They keep giving more and getting less from it. We are well into the diminishing returns phase. Eventually, the men start to realize, now, nah, you know what? I'm not going to play this game anymore. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. And the people who rely on men destroying themselves for society are starting to get really scared right now. He said the most unstable, violent societies in the world all have one thing in common. Young, depressed men who aren't attaching to work, aren't attending or aren't attaching to school and aren't attaching to relationships. I warned you, you do not want to go down this path. But you did. You just went and did it, didn't you? You went and did it anyway. Now we have to talk about what put men in that position. Why are they depressed? Why aren't they attaching to work? I don't know. M maybe everyone shitting on them, calling them the problem. All these workplaces having uh, toxic masculinity trainings, assuming men are rapists and treating them as such. No, no that, that couldn't have anything to do with the problem. No. School, same thing. That can have anything to do with it. Relationships? Do you really want to go back to when things started getting worse? You're going to have to go back to the starting of feminism. 
Are you willing to walk back feminism? That's what it'll take to fix this society, but I highly doubt any of you are willing to even discuss the option. You brought it up, though, I warned you. The Journal reported that there is no reversal in sight for this gap. Women's make up 49% of college-age people in the country, but in the current year to current year plus one school year, they, there were uh, 3,805,978 common app college applications by women's compared to just 2,815,810 by men. Are you even going to mention the fact that the trades pay better than a lot of jobs that you need a degree for? And you can literally get paid on the job while you're learning, while you're training. You're just going to ignore the fact that plumbers can easily make six figures once they become masters. No, let's let's forget. Let's let's pretend that doesn't happen. No, just just go to your office job for 50,000 a year. Maybe you'll be making 70,000 by the time you retire. While your friend who became a plumber is going to be making 200,000. But it's okay. He touches pipes that have poo in them. He's beneath you. In the fall of current year minus one, while the University of California, LA, expanded enrollment by 3,000 students, 90% of those spots were filled by whammons. Okay, so another question. Since women make up the vast majority of college students now and the vast majority of new applicants, can we stop these programs specifically aimed at getting women and girls into college? It's clearly obvious that now we need to do the same thing for men, right? Oh, right. You can't do that because you're too busy shitting on men. Men are the problem. Why would you want more men? But no no need to go back to that topic. We covered that uh, in a previous article that specifically dealt with this topic. So, yeah, you, you guys know the game by now. That same semester, only 41% of those enrolled in UCLA were men, the journal reported. UCLA Vice Provost uh, Yolanda Copeland Morgan told the Journal that uh, men's applications were not more competitive, but that fewer men apply. Why would any man voluntarily apply for uh, to be a part of a system that actively hates his guts and belittles him at every step? I actually don't think any men are going to college anymore outside of, you know, STEM fields, doctors, things like that. Like, there are some professions that are very highly paid, but you need to go to college for. No men are actually going to college anymore outside of that. I don't count soy boys as men. The men are falling behind remarkably fast, Thomas Mortensen, a senior scholar at the Pell Institute for the Study of Opportunity and Higher Indoctrination, told the journal. All right. So you got a man that decided he's just going to live a minimalist lifestyle, work a part-time job, pay his bills, pay for his hobbies. This man is happy. He left the rat race. He's enjoying his life. All right, compare him to the woman who fell for the propaganda. She's uh, working her ass off 80 hours a week in a soul-sucking job, miserable as hell made even more miserable by the fact that she can't find a man that makes twice as much as her because all those men are going for the 18-year-old supermodels? Who's winning in that equation? The man that's, uh, that's living minimalist and happy at minimum wage or the woman who's miserable as fuck making $150,000 a year? Who's falling behind? Who's winning? This is what women never expected. When they basically walked up to men and said, we're going to be the men now. We can do everything you can do while pregnant and in high heels and do a better job at it. Girl power. One thing they never expected was for men to just say, here you go. It's all yours. I'll let you carry the tax burden of this country and you can pay for my welfare. You can pay for my benefits. I will live the easy life at your expense. You go right ahead. You want it so bad, you can have it. They never expected this to happen. And uh, yeah, men are dropping out of society. Women most affected could have seen this conclusion coming from a mile away. 
Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.